Thanks for watching Wise Monkey. Please share and subscribe. Share five times or more. And um, there will be a lottery in future for a grand prize, probably more than one. And you have better chance to win. Probably the winner will be chosen from people who have shared at least five times. So this is a promotion. Uh, not a hoax, by the way. Now, a lot of time you'll find you have to change the instrument panel, which is this. And here is miles per hour, US vehicle. Now, if you want to change from miles to kilometers or kilometers to miles, uh, either way, the way to do is change this panel, uh, instrument cluster. Take it out and get one of your preferred unit, so either miles or kilometers, and then replace the existing, existing uh, cluster with that one. Now, to replace the cluster, first of all, uh, take the negative battery terminal out. Then, uh, open this little side glove box here. And actually open this and then pull this. This thing has to come out. So, just pull this from the side. It will come out. I already took it out. Oh, just clamped there. Uh, same thing here. If it's in uh, degree Fahrenheit or degree Celsius, you can toggle it by getting the right instrument cluster. I mean, uh, the automatic climate control control panel uh, in right unit. So if it's in degree Celsius, you install the new one, it'll be degree, degree Celsius showing here and or de degree Fahrenheit. Now, once this is loose, you pull it all the way. There's no screws, it's just clamp clamp. So be careful, you can easily crack these things. I actually kind of cracked on this side, I think. Now, this side also has to come. So to do that, best to do, the, do from this side. You cracked here, too bad. And it doesn't really need to come all the way. You can also take the side panel out and push it from that side. That might help. Now get a flat head. Get a flat head like this. And then right below this, right there. I'll show. There is a this thing, this this thing. So put the flat head under it and pry it. So as on this side, right below this, this tab. So put the flat head below that thing and pry it off. So this cover will come off. Try to show. So just try it. And it will come off. I need both hands. Yeah, so it came off. Uh, lowered the steering column right here. So I drop the steering and then pull it. It will come. So this thing comes off. Now take this, uh, take a Phillips set and take this one, two, and three screws. And then th this will come out. So the screws, screws are out. Now to pull it out, if you just pull it, it will not come. So there is a there's a tab at the top of it, right here. There's a tab, so you have to press on the tab a little bit. And yeah, so you have to pull, not press. Pull it down and then it'll come out. It comes out nicely and then you disconnect this. Disconnect it, there's a again, tiny thing at the back of it. 
So press here, press here, push it down, push it down and then pull it up. It comes off. So once that's disconnected, you can easily bring it out. Trying to show stuff. So it comes out. So that was the connector. So just one connector. Press it here and pull it out. Now install the new one and I'll show if it worked or not. Now as you try to, after connecting the cable, as you try to put it in, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna go in straight. You have to slide it from the side, the way you took it out, from the side, from the, this side, uh, left side of the vehicle, or the right side. Right side has the, uh, it's not gonna work from that side. So slide it in. So got it installed. Now, it's running fine. A few of the lights changed, like here, the VSA was the same, and the sliding door open, it has a different indicator. So this is now in kilometers per hour as the main speed, main gauge, and miles per hour is inside. And the trip is showing also in kilometers. Of course, the autometer will change. So in some states, it could be illegal to do that without um, going through Honda. And um, so just always verify. Now this check in your light is because of cylinder, multiple cylinder misfire. So I'll show you how to fix that as well. And um, the VSA light on, how to deal with that. The light is on because of a reason. Something failed, I'll uh, show in another video how to address the VSA light. And so I, I think that's it, that's it. So yeah, the mileage is different. Uh, now the uh, screws goes back in, all three. And this, this thing just goes back, push it in, it goes back in. Push it in, back in. All right, so hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe.